Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I'm Octavian, and today I'm going to present hyperbolic neural networks. Uh, this is work done together with my amazing collaborators, Gary and Thomas. Uh, so, our goal is to use hyperbolic space instead of the Euclidean space to better represent data, and especially data with hierarchical structure. So, what's good about this space? This non Euclidean geometry provides a mathematically better way to embed tree like graphs. So, in order to see it at a very intuitive level, the volume of a ball grows exponentially with, with its radius in this space. So, in this picture here, every bed has equal area. This is the same as for a tree. The number of nodes in a tree grows exponentially with a tree depth. So in the Euclidean space, at some point, you will run out of, out of capacity, or you, ha you have to increase your dimensionality exponentially in order to fit this, but not in the Euclidean space, where two dimensions are enough. Uh, so this is a hot topic in machine learning since the work of Nikhil and Kiela um, on Poincare embeddings. So there remain a few difficulties in, uh, in order to, use, to properly use this non-Euclidean geometry. The first question is how, how to use hyperbolic embeddings in downstream tasks. And a more, more specific, how, how to feed hyperbolic embeddings in neural networks. So this is difficult because basic Euclidean operations are not defined in the hyperbolic space. So for example, vector addition should follow hyperbolic straight lines or geodesics. Uh, and second, neural networks should not ignore the hyperbolic geometry. So for example, if, if you are dealing with recurrent neural network with the, with the ones that hidden states are, are living in this hyperbolic space. So we are using the Poincare ball as a model of hyperbolic geometry. Uh, and what's good about this model for, uh, is that we have access to closed form expression of some important quantities, like, for example, the distance function. So in our work, we rely on the zero vector space framework to generalize basic operations and neural networks in the hyperbolic space. So this framework it, it provides an analog of Euclidean vector spaces. And it comes from, it, it has uh, strong connections with relativity theory. So vector addition, uh, scalar multiplication, distance function, and geodesics have close form in this framework. Our contribution, our contributions are the following. So we first connect zero vector space framework and remain in hyperbolic geometry. Uh, and we obtain close form expression of important quantities like exponential map and parallel transport, which can be used, for example, in optimization. Second contribution is to generalize fit for all neural networks to the hyperbolic uh, geometry. And we do this in two steps. First, we generalize pointwise nonlinearities via this formula. Uh, and we second, second, we generalize matrix vector multiplication. Uh, so so this, um, these tools have important properties, for example, matrix associativity. Sec third contribution is to generalize multi-class logistic regression, or softmax layer. Um, we, we do this in, in, in a few steps. First of all, we generalize the notion of separation hyperplane, or a hyperbolic hyperplane. And in our paper, we derive a closed form expression of a, of a distance between a point and, um, and a hyperbolic hyperplane. Finally, based on, based on previous work, we generalized um, the MLR formula, in, and, and we obtain a closed form expression that can be also differentiable. Uh, we, we can backpropagate this read. Uh, last contribution is to generalize recurrent neural networks and especially gated recurrent units such that hyperbolic, for example, hidden states lie in the hyperbolic geometry and they respect this hyperbolic geometry. You know, we do this uh, in a principled manner by generalizing the update gate mechanism via a principle which is called the time wrapping invariance principle. And we generalized, we use this uh, by generalizing the chain rule to, to, to the zero, uh, zero vector spaces. An important property of all our models is that they recover their Euclidean variance when the space is continuously deformed to a space of, const of curvature zero, which corresponds to the Euclidean space. Finally, we use remaining optimization since we have a full remaining optimization since we have closed form expressions for exponential map and remaining gradients. In a set of experiments, uh, we outperform all the Euclidean baselines on textual entailment tasks, both semantic and syntactic, and also on uh, classification of subtrees of the Wernet tree. So this is just basically on, uh, done on pre-trained hyperbolic embeddings. Uh, here I, I show on the left and the right side hyperbolic and Euclidean hyperplanes in two dimensions. Thank you very much, and please visit our poster number 29 and our uh, blog, hyperbolicdeblearning.com. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.